So we're gonna begin with this. Uh, Don Cherry is not backing down from the words that got him fired from Sportsnet yesterday. So uh, in an interview with Toronto radio station News Talk 1010, Cherry said he could have stayed on, but he won't take back his comments about new Canadians or you people not wearing poppies. And so we're gonna dive into the question why this has caused an, uh, a firestorm across the country. This has hit a nerve either on one side or on the other. Why do we think this is? I think it struck a nerve because I'm told he's a Canadian icon and he's a symbol of the great sport of hockey, which is the sport that unites us across this country. And that narrative is the one that strikes a nerve with me because I don't worship at the, the altar of hockey. I never have, and maybe it's because of where I grew up, but there's, there's a, and going to a couple different universities, there's a certain type of person in my mind, in my experience, who does. And they all tended to be white boys who weren't, um, let's say, very nice. They were not generally thoughtful. They were often bullies. Uh, their parents were able to afford to put them, you know, spend $5,000 a year on minor hockey instead of $5,000, a lot of money. You could do other things besides spending your time in an arena. You could go on a trip and learn about the world, see other things, eh? You know, like it's, it, the place is a, the world is a big place. Maybe get tight out of that bubble. And for me, Don Cherry is the walking and talking representative of that type. Mm -hmm. And he's the type of person that now people want to like, and I know he's done some good things, but at the same time, when someone good is also to, able to make fun of people who believe in climate science, who's also able to be like, whether he's charming or not, but he's still a bigot and a misogynist, when you're, you know, to have those two things, like I dismiss those people. And it, it, I find it embarrassing. I find it embarrassing that there's a big chunk of the country that is so upset about this. Hockey doesn't mean anything to me. I'm sorry. It's and not part of my And you're still a great Canadian. And I'm still a great Canadian. Yeah. yeah. I'm well, tired. Yeah. See, nothing stirs up emotion and debate like race. And let me tell you, I heard from the country yesterday. Oh. And, I, and there was a lot of vitriol. I have to be honest. And it was interesting because when I look back at our comments on the show, Mel and I said very much the same thing. Mm -hmm. But all of, I will say, hatred and vitriol and people calling for me to be fired because I said Don Cherry yeah. should be fired, it was unbelievable. Yep. I continue to get the tweets, the instas, the everything, and usually when we discuss race, that is the deal. Okay, I wanna quote some people. Uh, Marcy only talks about race, one person tweeted. I'm a black woman, that's not stopping anytime soon. <laughs> um, You'll be fired soon too, said another. It's not your place. Really? It's not, it's not my, pla my wow. place. My place. What does that mean? What does that mean? mean? At this panel and speak to my life experience. You're literally I, paid to do this that. This is what I'm paid to do. This is what I'm paid to do. I want to take it to a lot of people weighing in. Uh, Sherry on Facebook says, we've officially lost our freedom of speech. We can't say or do anything anymore without hurting someone's feelings. It's sad times we're in. Freedom of speech, that is racist. There's a difference between opinion and freedom of speech and racist, bigoted language. There's a huge difference. Debbie on Facebook who says, look at what the Prime Minister can do and not lose his job. Don Cherry said nothing racist. He was right, everyone should wear a poppy. So I'm upset he was let go. Okay, Debbie, here's the thing. He could have said, everyone should wear more poppies. I would wanna see more people wear poppies. I'm he did not that. say yeah, great with that. that. What he did say was those people. And anybody who's had like a grandfather in their life or a weird uncle yeah. has heard references to the, uh, the those people. And those people are always a certain type of people. They have a certain type of skin color. Everyone knows the subtext of what those people mean. And that's what he said. So let's just start with that. He did not just say everyone should wear poppies. We wouldn't be sitting here having this discussion today. Can we agree upon that? Yes. We would not be. Yep. Secondly, Debbie. Um, when it comes to Justin Trudeau, a lot of people are saying no one was outraged. Actually, there was a lot of outrage, I would say. And also, what he did wasn't two days ago or three days ago. It was 15 years ago. That's not a full excuse. What he did was horrible. What Justin Trudeau did was ridiculous. But he didn't do it as prime minister. He didn't do it at a time when he was a, a leader of a country. Had that platform. And had that platform. And, and I, you yeah, say it, keep going. going. You're going to say it. I got a third thing. Okay. You know what, but uh, the, third the big thing. one. He, the big he one is Justin Trudeau apologized. apologized. He apologized not once, not twice, but several times. He came up. He was
was very contrite. He acknowledged what he did. He had no excuse for it. He acknowledged his privilege. He, acno he acknowledged all of it. What has Don Cherry done? He has doubled down, refusing to acknowledge that he did anything wrong. And fourth, he, uh, the Prime Minister doesn't have like a, a regular job. Like, we as broadcasters, we sit here, we say something out loud, based on the code of ethics with this company, we can be fired. The Prime Minister, he, uh, we are his boss, and we voted him in again. I hate to say it, based on our election, I didn't, you know, I'm not saying all of you did, but based on the way our electoral works, system he won. works, he won. So there, that's all I got to say, <laughs> Debbie. I'm gonna... Um, so I want to go back because um, the, the hockey people that you were talking about. Sorry. I say this, no, no, I, and I know exactly where you're coming from, but on. on hashtag not all hockey people, not, okay? Hashtag not all hockey I have to people. say that. And I say that because you know my yes. husband. Yes, I know your husband, who's a loving hockey person. He's a loving hockey yes. person. And my husband was born and raised in a hockey family. His father was a coach. Um, his brother was scouted by the NHL. Like, my husband is the third of three boys. By the time it got to Ryan, he was two years old and playing hockey. So uh, he comes from a full-blown hockey family. And yet, as much as Ryan was shocked like, I mean, he was speechless when I said, did you hear the news that Don Cherry was fired? And he had to, like, sit down. And, and you, my, my husband is, is woke. He's, he's come a long way in that journey because of being with me and learning and, and hearing and listening intently. And even he was still sad. He said, this is a great loss for hockey. This is someone, whether you agree with what he says or doesn't with all of these, we are not by any means justifying the misogynist and racist things he has said, not just Saturday, but for most of his career. But I will say for Ryan, this is from Ryan's perspective, he said, yeah, here's the thing. I wish he could still be the Don that is a hero for so many boys and men in this country. But even Ryan acknowledges yeah. you can't, Say that stuff on TV, that is Don. True. That is true. You can't. But I also wonder if, if, if the two problems, the, the problem that I have with the culture of hockey and it being jammed down my throat that it's part of my yeah. Canadian identity, mm -hmm. which it isn't, I also wonder if Don Cherry has not bred that very problem that I see in these young boys. The young boys in my youth and through university who were bullies. Don Cherry was a bully on TV and almost gave permission that this is how you can behave to people. And I, I, they've got to be connected. Also, isn't hockey supposed to be something, actually all sports, the idea, and again, this is the non-sporto, I thought you people who are into sports were saying it also is about bringing people together. And to me, what his comments have consistently done is actually stoke the flames of division. He has said shockingly awful things, as you've indicated, in 2011, after several former NHL uh, enforcers were speaking out about fighting in hockey, you know, with all of the awareness around head injuries. He referred to them as pukes. That was what he said on TV. He questioned climate change. That's probably change. the biggest word he could think of at the time. Right? <laughs> He's complained about women in hockey games, saying that they need to pay better attention, like it's patronizing and sexist. He also said women don't belong in the, the dressing the rooms. Yeah. yeah. He to do their that. reporting I mean, Female jobs. journalists, nah. He can hold. Silly. He can hold those beliefs, but if you are supposed to be somebody who is representing Canada in this way, and you're supposed to be talking about bringing people together and like uh, the sport is supposedly, you're not. You're actually talking about that this, this sport is only good for a certain person who looks and thinks like you. And I think that in a country like Canada, that no longer reflects what we hold as our values. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna change gears. Stop bugging this woman, please. <laughs> We'll have conversations. She doesn't need defending, but we will always stand beside oh you and behind you. Anyway, always. I'm over. <laughs>